personality of Muhammad bin Tughlaq is quite an interesting one. But due to various failed policies taken during his reign, he is synonymous with stupidity in the political circles of India. In this video, let's explore the personality and the failed policies of Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Born to Giyazuddin Tughlaq, the founder of Tughlaq dynasty, Muhammad bin Tughlaq's actual name was Juna Khan. The traits of his personality are quite interesting. Of all the Delhi Sultans, he is the most celebrated Sultan as well as controversial. He is considered as the most enlightened, a prolific scholar in Persian, Sanskrit, Maths, Theology, Medicine, a lexicographer, had an impeccable memory, was too logical. He was considered as too well read but lacked practical sense of judgment. He was far ahead of his times. He always held people in contempt. He was too kind-hearted, at the same time highly cruel. Ibn Battuta says not a single day passed without any execution by the Sultan. He was grand in design, same time poor in execution. Delhi Sultanate expanded maximum during his time, same time Sultanate disintegrated completely during his time. Now. Let's learn about the popular and unpopular policies undertaken by Muhammad bin Tughlaq for which he accumulated a bad reputation for himself. After becoming Sultan in 1325, he introduced a tax system which was named as a just taxing. The poor were taxed less and the rich were taxed more. It was increased to 40% in the Ganga Yamuna Doab region and made one-tenth in Gujarat and the Deccan. That year, crops failed due to natural calamities but he kept insisting people to pay 40% in the Ganga Yamuna Dua. This made him a very unpopular Sultan. As the Sultanate territory kept expanding, he thought Delhi is not a suitable capital as it was at the borders. So he took an initiative to ship the capital to Daultabad, which is at the center of his territory. He asked the people of Delhi to pack their luggages and start walking that too in summer season all the way from Delhi to Daulatabad. Once everybody reached Daulatabad, he realized it would be a congested place with so many people and due to many other reasons, he ordered everyone to return back to Delhi in such a pleasant sunny summer season. During his reign, around 1930s, gold and silver were in shortage of supply across the world. This made Tughlaq mint copper coins as the official currency. As copper was also not in heavy supply, it was mixed with tin, creating bronze coins. As we have it, Indians were experts in certain things. Sultan underestimated the talent of Indians who started minting fake currency. At almost every second house, a pile of fake currency lied outside. This created hyperinflation and Sultan had to take his decision back regarding currency coins. Then he had the grandest of the plans to conquer Khorasan via Transoxiana. He made an agreement with Tarma Shirin and further he raised a large army. As he said to conquer Khorasan and at the last moment Tarma Sharin declined to help him in the conquest and he had to disband the army. For all the above reasons, historians consider him a transcendental failure. But does he really deserve such a tag? In his first policy of taxing, nature did not cooperate him. In his token currency plan, people cheated him. In his vision to conquest of Khorasan, Tarma Shireen did not keep his word, but the plan to shift the capital was an absolute blunder. All in all, an extraordinary scholar and a sultan is only remembered in the history for the failures that he had to bear on his head.